Welcome to Maybe Center on the campus of Oral Roberts University. This is Mac Krieger along with Jack Campbell with NIT Basketball from the Maybe Center. The ORU Titans facing the Oregon Ducks. And this is a rematch they have met once before. And Oregon ousted the Titans from the NIT in 1975. And so the Titans looking for revenge, playing an outstanding basketball team here tonight. And this could be the toughest game they'll face in this tournament until they get to the finals if they win it. And now ready to go, the Titans, of course, in white. Kevin Small jumping with Anthony or Alvin Scott. The tip goes to the Titans. And they get the first shot at it. Here's see how they play uh, Anthony Roberts. He's going to take the first shot. He got it. The Titans are apt not to get as many shots as usual in this game because of the deliberate style played by the Oregon Ducks. So they're going to have to make their shots count. Number 44 is Kloss. The little guy is Drummond. He's only 5'8". He's 10, number 10. That's Kloss. Ballard is the big man. There's Drummond shooting. He got it. The little guy, 5'8", Mike Drummond scored, ties it at two. Roberts takes another. Won't go this time. The rebound by Greg Ballard, their great star, who was a great football player in high school and has been drafted by the Montreal Expos in baseball. So he's quite an athlete, number 42. That's Kloss. We've got a whistle and a foul is called on number 35, Ernie Kent. Ernie Kent draws the foul for Oregon, the first foul of the ball game. There he is. Score is tied at two all. This could be uh, the toughest game the Titans faced all year long. Duggar and a whistle. Got a foul, I believe, on Oregon. Let's wait. I believe it's on number 44. That's right. Rob Kloss, number 44, drew the foul. It was not a shooting foul, so the Titans will inbound the ball. Duggar to Alvin Scott. Now Roberts. Good defensive team, the Ducks. Coach Hale was quoted as saying that he wants Alvin Scott to shoot more. And let's see, he drew a foul that time, I believe. Let's see. Missed the shot. The foul was on Alvin Scott. Offensive foul. So the score is still tied at two. Mike Drummond brings it down for them. That's small, number 50. Kent, Ernie Kent. And there's their big star, Greg Ballard, number 42. Alvin Scott is on it. He missed his first shot. And Chuck Downs with the rebound. Going to be rough on those boards. Uh, missed another one. Anthony missed two in a row now. Looks like he's taking them from kind of far out so far. Number 42, Ballard, a great rebounder. There he is under the bucket. Passes off, out of bounds. Beat Titans ball. Looked like he had an easy bucket, but he couldn't hold on to it. Oh, it's still two all. Titans have come down, haven't been able to score the last three times. Duggar. And he missed everything. Scramble for the ball, a jump ball is called. Duggar went in there and got the rebound and tied it up. And both coaches are up. And I guess the timeout has been called. Timeout has been called by the Titans. So this game is uh, starting out just like everybody thought. And it'll probably end this way. It's tied at two all, Jack. Mac, plenty of tenseness as we take a look at the Titan bench. As Jerry Hale wants to settle the club down. Maybe play for better shots. The defense will dominate this game. There's no doubt about it. But the Titans do not have their usual scoring harvest. And if Anthony Roberts does not get his usual average, well, you can understand why. Because Oregon is a very defensive-minded team, one of the top defensive teams in the nation, holding their opponents to less than 60 points a game. It should be remembered that Oregon is a formidable opponent. They have beaten UCLA twice this year. 
UCLA, the number two ranked team in the nation, has gone down to defeat twice before Oregon. But on the other hand, Oregon has stumbled itself against teams that it should have beaten. It's lost three times this year to Oregon State, cross-state rival, and twice to Washington State in the latter part of the season. But those impressive victories over UCLA loom mighty big, and you know that Jerry Hale and the Titans are thinking about that and how tough this team is going to be to beat tonight, plus that defensive tenacity that they're going to have to shake loose from. Well, at one time late in the year, they lost four in a row. Tip goes to the Titans. Titans are 14-1 and one here at home this year. Chuck Dom. Chuck Dom puts the Titans ahead 4-2. to two. There he is. Freshman, a fine freshman player. Kloss is 44. Drummond is a little boy at 10. Ballard couldn't get the shot. Gives it off to Small, and a foul is called. Let's see what's on Duggar, looks like. I believe it is. So Duggar draws a foul. NIT representative here tonight is Larry Gershioti. We'll be talking to him just before the start of the second half. There you see it on the message board. Four to two, Titans lead, Drummond, and a foul. Looks like Alvin Scott drew one. He must have been holding on or something. Kind of hurts this early in the game. I got two fouls. Uh, the Titans... Three fouls now compared to two for uh, Oregon. And two fouls on Alvin Scott. He'll have to be careful. Drummond is the quarterback, the little fellow. There's a shot by Kloss. In and out. Titans move up with it. I see Chuck Dobbs' elbow is bleeding, bleeding already. Anthony Roberts trying to get a shot. He got it. And it's six to two. That's four points for Anthony. Titans out in front, six to two. Kloss and Drummond, the two backcourt men. Ballard hadn't scored yet. Nice block by Chuck Dom. Anthony Roberts won't go. Tip won't go. And uh, Ballard, no, it's uh, Small who clears the backboard. Some great rebounders in this game. Interesting to watch that phase of it. And we've got a whistle. Foul appears to be on the Ducks. Titans are happy about it anyway. Offensive foul on number 42, and that's Greg Ballard, their great star. He's Mr. Everything, Mac. He does it all. Top scorer, top rebounder, he does everything. This coach calls him the greatest player he's seen, he's ever seen. Titans with the ball and the lead, 6-2. to two. Warrell. Roberts. Titans moving it around. Roberts drives. He scores. Beautiful play by Anthony Roberts. Six points for him. Titans lead 8-2. to two. These Titans should sure like to have revenge. They lost to this team in the 75 in NIT. Ballard gets it off right quick. So I was in there by Kent, number 35. Eight to four. Titans lead. Ballard has taken only one shot that I can recall. It was blocked. Good defensive team, Oregon. And Roberts loses the ball but gets it back. Chuck Downs. Anthony trying to work in for a shot. They're playing great defense, as they will all night. Titans having trouble getting a shot. The Ducks quickly recover and get them covered. In there. Got a whistle. That's eight points for Anthony and a whistle on the play. See what they've called. Looks like Elvis Roll is coming in for the Titans. Who's the foul on? Third foul on Alvin Scott, Mac. He is in trouble. And here's Elvis Rowe coming in to replace Alvin Scott. That's a tough break. Real tough break. Because he was on uh, Ballard, their great star. And let's a whistle. Traveling. 
traveling on Ballard. I thought Doms had fouled him, but got a break there. Doms' elbow is still bleeding, I noticed. Titans out in front, 10 to 4. Duggar. Rebound goes to Small, number 50. Now the Ducks come down the floor with the ball. They're trailing 10 to 4. That's Kloss over to Drummond. Ballard, guarded by Roll now. Shot up, no good, and a foul. I believe, or traveling. Traveling again. And look at the coach. Look at Dick Harder over there. Boy, he is unhappy. He is right up in the face of the coach. There he is. Normally that'd draw a technical foul, but uh, he hadn't gotten it yet. He's still uh, complaining. He is really unhappy. I think he feels the last two times that these uh, traveling calls have been called. He yeah. felt certainly that uh, Ballard had been fouled both times. Apparently he did draw a technical foul. There he is as Roberts gets two free throws. Apparently there were some technical fouls called. So noisy we can't hear the PA here. He hit them both. Titans lead 12 to 4. And Dick Harder apparently drew a couple of technical fouls. Titans are up 12 to 4. Alvin Scott on the bench over there with three fouls. Roll with the ball and traveling. He has that uh, characteristic. He travels a lot. Elvis Roll. He moves that pivot foot. Something he's going to have to get out of. Draws a lot of traveling violations. Drummond with the ball. Gets it over to Small. Ballard. Got his first bucket. Great star, Ballard. You're seeing one of the really great players in the country. In fact, two of them. He and uh, Anthony Roberts. Of course, Alvin Scott is out of there now. Elvis Roll. Threw it away, but a foul is called on 35. Ernie Kent, his second. That's four fouls on the Ducks. And he's going to get uh, Kent out of there, apparently. Number 34, Danny Mack is coming in, and Kent leaves. There's Mack, number 34. There's number 10, Mack. He is really an amazing player. Only 5 feet 8 inches tall, but what a great player he is. Drummond for Oregon. Roberts drives for the bucket, knocked out of bounds, and a foul is called. That's on Ballard as two. Let's see. Number 50 held up his hand, but let's see who he calls it on. Sometimes they'll do that to try to keep him from putting it. It is on Ballard. That's his second. And that's five fouls against the Ducks. In the Elvis roll to Roberts. Chuck Doms got it. Fourteen to six, and a good assist by Anthony Roberts. These Ducks are playing tenacious defense, as we expected. Cross shot is blocked and picked up by Warrell. Now Duggar's going to try one. Won't go, and uh, cleared off by Small. Well, he's a fine rebound, rebounder, Mac. He's got four now. Ballard just has one. He's a husky lad, like Ballard. There's Ballard. He scored again. Great player. 14-8, to eight, Titans lead. There's Ballard, 42. Got a whistle. And another technical, I believe, on Dick Harder. Boy, he's going to keep up. He'll get thrown out of the ballgame. You see him over there talking to one of the officials, and uh, I don't know who the officials are tonight. Boy, if he's this intense this early in the ball game, just think what it's going to be uh, down close to the wire if this game uh, is close. Of course, he can hurt his team doing that. Uh, if a coach loses his cool, it can sure hurt the team. And there he is, still talking to the officials, a little cooled off now. Dick Harder, he's in his seventh year as uh, head coach at Oregon. Previously, 77 and 61 uh, record, not particularly outstanding. 18 and 9 this year, but they have been off and on and have kind of trailed off here the last part of the year after getting off to a tremendous start. 
with their uh, victories over Nevada, Las Vegas, and uh, UCLA. You know, stuff like this, Jack, might uh, be what he's trying to do is get some calls in his favor later in the ball game, which it might work. You never know. He's probably telling them, look out there, they're all over Ballard and all this type thing, you know. All right, that's one of the uh, prime tactics to try to intimidate the officiating early in the ball game, so that uh, maybe the crucial calls later, uh, they'll be tempted to go the other way. Look at the cheering section here as they watch the cheerleaders go through their antics. And uh, very syn syncopated and synchronized for them. Titans, as Mac mentioned, have won 14 and lost only one here at Maybe Center this year. That only loss was to Austin P, a team that was to go on to win their conference championship. And that was one night when uh, Anthony Roberts was not feeling up to par. He had the flu and only scored 15 points. So the flu might have cost us that ball game, but nevertheless, Austin P was a very worthy adversary. Did they go to the NCAA, Jack? Don't believe they did, Mac. Anthony Roberts has hit three in a row now. He's shooting technical fouls. It's another one. And he's hit four in a row. Anthony now has 12 points. Titans lead 16 to 8. They've doubled the score. To Roberts, clear across court. And won't go. We've got a foul. Looks like it's on Dom's. on Elvis Row. That's five on the Titans. Both teams have five fouls now. With the seventh foul, they start shooting one and one free throws. Small gets it to Ballard. Easy layup. Roll is guarding him and uh, he got away from him that time. 16 to 10. Ballard just may be too much for Roll to handle. Right. Roll's a freshman. Jump ball. Good hustle there by Roll. Titans really, really miss Alvin Scott, Jack. That, uh, that may really hurt us. Have him on the bench over there. One of the greatest leapers in the country, I think. Roll is a freshman. He doesn't have the experience. And a foul on Chuck Dom. Of course, the fellow had an easy layup. Here's uh, Carlton Hurdle coming in. Elvis Roll going out. Carlton so, at 6'11". And, uh, of course, guarding a guy like uh, like Ballard, you're going to make fouls. This guy is just almost impossible to stop. The thing that makes him so great. Number 42. Okay, Kevin Small. Two shots. First free throw of the night for the Ducks. Now he gets the second one. Kevin Small. Great rebounder. He's 6'8 from Chicago. Missed that one. 16 to 11. Titans lead by five. Carlton Hurdle in there now. Warrell. Gets his own rebound. Can't get the shot up though. And Ballard comes down with it. He thought he was fouled. 16 to 11. In there, no foul. Boss made that one. There's out of bounds. Tough break, and the Titans now beginning to make some mistakes. 16 to 13, only a three point lead. Looks like uh, David Tucker's getting ready to come in for Warrell. Boss and Drummond are the two backcourt men. Ballard. Passes off and in there by Danny Mack. That's two straight uh, layups for him. So the Titans lead by only one. All of a sudden, their lead is uh, gone. And there's a foul on number 44. Rob Kloss, his second foul. There he is. And David Tucker comes in for the Titans. There's David, number 11. He hasn't played for a while because of a badly sprained ankle. First game, and I think he's missed about the last three. Titans will inbound the ball, leading by one. Carlton Hurdle is 53. Ball knocked away from Roberts. And picked back up by Carlton Hurdle. 
David Tucker takes a shot. In and out. Won't stay. And Small with a rebound. Now the Ducks can take the lead for the first time if they score here. We're about halfway through the first half. 31, John Murray is in the lineup now for the Ducks. There he is right there shooting. Out of bounds. Whose ball? To give it to the Ducks. Missed that one. I don't think the official actually saw it. Ballard. Duggar with a rebound. Titans lead by one. Carlton Hurdle. He missed everything with that one. We've got a foul on uh, Alvin uh, Anthony Roberts, I believe. He's saying something to Ballard. They're cussing each other. Look at him. How about little, this, Mac? The two star players are... A uh, little bad blood there. A little angry at each other. Two of the top players in the nation. Trying to cool down here a little bit. Yeah, they're still going at it. I don't know what it's all about. Some infighting inside, some holding on or something like that. You and know? Anthony hit the floor pretty hard on that, and uh, I imagine felt that Ballard had something to do with it. They uh, they gave the foul to Chuck Doms, didn't they? I believe they did, number 32. It's one and one situation, I believe, now for the Ducks. Well, with that, we've seen everything. The heck, was this early in the ball game. Uh, upset uh, coach. Very violently upset coach. Ballard's leaving the game. Coach May wants to cool him down a little bit. <laughs> the message board up there all of a sudden came up with good grief. Get a chuckle out of the fans. I don't know what Ballard do. I guess Ballard just gone over to the bench for a towel. Surely not leaving the game. And now there's Coach Dick Harder uh, again discussing things with the official. Trying to protect his players and make sure he gets a square shake. As uh, we mentioned, this is the first time in history that the NIT first round is playing away from New York's Madison Square Garden. There are several games all over the nation. One was played last night and several tonight, several tomorrow night to determine who goes to the quarterfinals and those games from then on will be played at Madison Square Garden. Ballard the one and one. You rarely see Anthony Roberts uh, lose his cool, but he was, he was hot at Ballard about something. That ties the score, and this can put the Ducks in front of the hit system. And he got it. That's two for two for him at the line. Number 41, Joe Morick comes in for the Ducks. And Ballard goes over to rest a little bit. So he's out of the lineup momentarily. He's uh, far below his output, normal output scoring. Roberts. Goaltending. Goaltending. He gets a bucket. That's 14 points for Anthony. And uh, Ballard has eight. Well, you can see why this is a great defensive team, Mac. Tremendous defense, tenacious, and great leaping ability, great rebounding. Titans playing without Alvin Scott most of this first half. He's got three fouls. They're moving the ball well. Drummond, the shot deflected, picked up by Anthony Roberts. Duggar. Anthony Roberts can't get the shot. Duggar takes it short, way short. Ducks with a rebound. Titans lead 18 to 17. We're past the halfway mark here in the first half now. It's been a long first half with a lot of whistles, a lot of activity. And under the bucket to Morissette. Oh, no good. He gets his own rebound. Blocked away, and a foul is called on Carlton Hurdle, I think. Here's Ballard coming back in. There's Hurdle, who drew the foul. Carlton Hurdle, the Titans' tallest player at 6'11". Danny Mack will be the shooter. He gets two shots. First trip to the line. This the first one. He can tie it up with this one. 
They've hit three out of five at the free throw line. And he hit that one. Score tied at 18. About nine minutes left in the first half. Roberts drives the left side of the lane and a whistle. Foul on Duggar. Away from the ball. Don't see that often. Second foul on Duggar. Titans getting some players in foul trouble. They certainly miss Alvin Scott over there on the bench. He has been there most of this half. Score tied at 18 as the Ducks come down. Under the bucket to Ballard. He didn't get it. Looked like he missed an easy layup there. Third rebound by Doms. David Tucker who hadn't been playing much. Chuck Doms passes off. And it's dunked in there by Anthony Roberts. That's 16 points for him. Titans lead 20-18. Number 31, John Murray misses. Anthony Roberts with a rebound. A lot of activity on that rebounding. A lot of people going for that ball. Great rebounders in here. Carlton Hurdle to Roberts. He got it. That's 18. 18 points for Anthony. It's 22-18. Little Mike Drummond is number 10. They're having trouble getting the ball to hurt to uh, Ballard. I think that's what they're trying to do, keep it away from him. And he was fouled. And now Duggar's in trouble, Mac. Right, that's three on him. Foul is situation is really hurting the Titans. You're going to have to get him out of there. And here's Lionel Warrell coming in, and Duggar goes over at the bench. There's Warrell. Also, we've got Gary Nelson, 55, in there for the Ducks. And he's their tallest player, Mac. At 6'10", he's just a sophomore. Ballard gets two shots. He's two for two at the line. Their leading free throw shooter, and he hit that one. One fine athlete, this fellow. He's a great baseball pitcher. That's nine points for him. There he is. He's hit four in a row up there at that line. 22-20, two-point lead for the Titans. Two of their mainstays, Alvin Scott and uh, and Duggar on the bench over there. Warrell, Roberts, wouldn't go. Now the Ducks can tie it up with a bucket here. Little guy Drummond, he hit it. Smallest guy on the floor at 5'8". Has tied it up. At 22. Tom, number 32, to Roberts. Drives the baseline. Scores. That's 20. 20 points for him. 24 22, the score. Titans lead. Of course, Anthony scored 50 down at Florida and they lost the game. Little Drummond again. Scramble for the board. Ball has stolen away by Warrell. By uh, Hurdle, rather. There's Oral Roberts, president of ORU. His wife down the left corner there, Evelyn. Chuck down. Two points. 26-22. Titans lead by four. Murray, number 31 with the ball. Ballard faked the shot. Now he takes it. He hit it. Didn't move the net at all. Oh, he's something back. Deadly as they can be. 26-24. Titans lead by two. Six. Ten left in the first half. Chuck Doms. Missed it. And Ballard with a rebound. Now the Ducks can move out and uh, can tie it again with a bucket here. They move the ball well. That's Murray. And we've got a whistle. Looks like 55 drew a foul. Gary Nelson. And here's uh, Kevin Small coming back in, number 50. And 
Nelson leaves. So it's now it's a one and one situation. I think Roberts will shoot it. Timeout has been called by the Titans. There you see the Titan bench. Titans lead 26-24. And anything can happen. The Titans have got a done a tough break in the foul situation on Duggar and Scott. Mike, this is the fourth year the Titans have been in the NIT. In fact, they have been in a tournament every year except last year since 1972. In 72, their first trip to a big-time tournament as they went to the NIT and surprised everyone after playing what was considered a light schedule. They bombed Memphis State by 20 points in that first game but then lost out to St. John's in the second game. In 73, in the NIT, they were whipped soundly by North Carolina. And then in 75... They beat Memphis State in the first round by two points and then ran into Oregon, the team you're seeing here tonight. Lost to Oregon, 68-59. to Sandwiched in there in 1974, the Titans went to the NCAA tournament. In fact, they played the regional right here at Maybe Center. After beating Syracuse at Denton, they defeated Louisville at the Missouri Valley at that time and then lost to Kansas in overtime, 93-90. to And Kansas went on to the uh, NCAA championship final. So the uh, Titans building quite a reputation now as a postseason team and for the eighth straight year now have won 20 or more ball games and under Jerry Hale three consecutive years of 20 or more victories so the Titans building quite a basketball reputation and uh, maybe center has seen some tremendous teams and games right here Anthony Roberts four for four at the line he gets the one and one now gets the bonus he's five for five at the line 21 points. He's hit 6 for 6 at the free throw line. Titans lead 28-24. 540 left in the first half. Murray is 31. Trying to keep the ball away from Ballard. Doing a pretty good job so far. Murray, he gets it off. Hits it. Good shooter. 28, 26, two point lead for the Titans. That's Murray there who just scored. Warrell. Carlton Hurdle is 53. Oh, bad pass. Over the head of Chuck Doms. Titans with a two-point lead. Ballard gets it off to Small. His shot is blocked and a foul is called on Doms and that's three on him. So the Titans have three players with three fouls. The Ducks have nobody with more than two. So the foul situation really is hurting the Titans. They've got two of their best players on the bench. Alvin Scott has been there most of the half. Duggar about halfway through had to go at the bench. Ballard has hit four out of four at the line. Now five out of five. And here's uh, Spencer coming in. Albert Spencer for Chuck Don. So he's got some reserves in there. Tough break for Coach Hale, but he's elected to go that way here in the first half anyway and then maybe take the chance in the second half. I gave the free throw to the wrong guy. Should have been the small. Hit them both. Twenty-eight all is the score. We've got a foul on the Ducks now. Foul on number thirty-four, Danny Mack. And David Tucker to the line for the first time. Anthony Roberts has been the only free throw shooter for the Titans. And he's hit six in a row. There's one for one for David Tucker. Now gets the bonus. Titans lead 30 to 28. 430 left in the first half. Good to have Tucker in that scoring column again after his long siege with the uh, sprained ankle. 
Moving the ball well. Danny Mack, number 34. Murray. Now Drummond takes a shot. He hit it. He's a pretty good shooter. He's only 5'8". That ties the score again. 30. David Tucker. Another bad pass. Picked up, though, by Roberts. And it won't go. Got a foul. Looks like it's on Spencer. Titans are sure not getting the homer job. Well, they sure aren't. That young lady looks like Ellen McWright. Beautiful, isn't she? Uh huh. Here's the deadly one Greg Ballard, number 42. He's for four for four at the line. Now five for five. Hit them both. Splendid free throw shooter, Mac, hitting 86% this year from the line. So the Ducks lead, 32-30. Titans are down by two. Boy, they're really tenacious on that defense. Roberts drives the baseline. Scores, ties it up at 32. That's 24 points for Anthony. Three twenty left in the first half. Score tied at thirty-two. Titans playing with three of their top players on the bench. Oh, great rebound by Small, and he was uh, foul. Let's see who got him. He really got up there. Great rebound. We've heard a Spencer. Foul no. was on Spencer. His second. Small shoots. He's hit three out of four. Gets two shots. He's hit three out of five. There's the Titan bench. Coaches there. Jerry Hale in the middle. This them both. Ballard gets the rebound and scores. What moves he's got. Oh, he can take those big steps, can he? So strong, too, Mac. So the Ducks are up by two again, 34-32. Roberts. He got it. Ties it again. He's got 26 points. Almost hitting his average in the first half here. But I repeat, uh, Anthony got 50 down in Florida, and they lost the game. So that's not the whole story. Missed. Rebound by Danny Mack, and he scores. And the Ducks lead 36-34. Two and a half minutes left in the first half. Warrell. Follow shot is in by Spencer. Spencer got it. That ties it at 36. Elvis Roll is over there waiting to come in. At first time out. 2-10 ref. Score tied at 36. Low scoring game. Under the bucket and a foul. On Carlton Hurdle. Here's Elvis Rowe coming in. They called offensive foul. Ran under him, I guess. Foul was on Danny Mack, his second. And there's Coach Dan Herter over there, Harder rather. He's been unhappy. He's had a couple technicals tonight. He didn't like that. But he didn't say anything. Roberts scores. Titans are out in front, 38 to 36. 28 points for Anthony Roberts. Second leading scorer in the nation. But he only got honorable mention on the All-American team that I saw. Boy, there's one for you. I think he fumbled the ball into the net. <laughs> I did too, Mac. Score tied again. Roberts. 
He scores. Let's see if the bucket counts. No. No bucket. Fouls on 41, Joe Morek. So Roberts will be at the line. He has hit six straight free throws. So has Greg Ballard. One and one. Seven straight for Anthony. Mackey's got more than he did uh, at halftime when he scored 66 to set the all-time ORU record not too many nights ago. What do you have, 24 the first half? 24 at halftime. He's hit eight straight free throws. Titans lead 40 to 38. 115 left in the first half. Just before the second half, our guest will be a special representative from the NIT, Larry Gerciotti. Down to one minute now. Titans lead by two. Apparently they're going to go for one shot. Forty-four seconds left. Now down to thirty-five. Titans lead by two. Thirty seconds. They're going to go for one. Now twenty. Fifteen. Now 10. Ballard. Murray's going to take it. He hit it. Boy, he's been deadly. Three seconds left. One second left. Still got a chance to get a shot off. Rather slim chance. No, it didn't count. So the score is tied at 40 at the end of the first half. Start the second half, start all over again, except the Titans have three players, three key players, with three fouls on them. That's the tough part of it for the Titans. We'll be back with a special guest in a moment, and, of course, the second half coming up.